Hey there foos, Big T filling in for Mr. T with your Nintendo news. This will be another one of those informal news videos, so kick back and relax and check it out. Alright, so Nintendo announced that tomorrow they're doing a Pokemon Direct, June 6th. A lot of people are speculating what are they going to talk about. Um, I'm not sure if there's any Pokemon games that are slated to come out or to be talked about, so a lot of people are speculating that this might be the reveal of Nintendo Switch's Pokemon game. Uh, the rumored Pokemon stars. That'll be cool to hear. Obviously, uh, Pokemon is a huge seller, and hearing, hearing that it's coming for Nintendo Switch, uh, having a confirmation would be a great thing. Uh, not that the Nintendo Switch needs any help selling, <laughs> and we'll get into that one right now. Yeah, so the Nintendo Switch is really selling really well, people, in case you didn't know. There's been reports out of Japan about retailers having lotteries, um, and not not for a chance to win a Nintendo Switch, but for a chance to win the chance to buy one <laughs> because they just don't have enough to serve people. And that is a great problem to have unless there uh, is a bigger issue, which also has been talked about that um, they're having issues uh, securing parts and whatnot and where or warehouses or whatever because of uh, Apple and other uh other electronics companies so hopefully that's not the thing hopefully it's just because it's selling so well obviously that it's uh hard to get a hold of and you can see it in the monthly numbers the weekly numbers in japan it's nearing a phenomenon at this point if it continues throughout this year we could be talking about you know is it going to outsell the wii that how that's how well it's doing right now and uh that is awesome I'm very happy to hear that as a Nintendo fan, especially. So good luck out there in Japan with those lotto tickets. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, I just wanted to leave a, a end commentary on my last video talking about Nintendo Switch's voice chat situation. Um, I just wanted to articulate it better. I just, first of all, I just don't really understand uh, what there is to defend. Um, it's very simple. The Switch's uh, setup, as we know it at least, for voice chat is cumbersome and it goes against the simplicity of the Switch. That's what's so good about the Switch is the messaging, how easily you can deliver um, an understanding to the, to, to, to the fans what the Switch is about. And, you know, this situation of having to hook up your phone, um, having an app and then having your headset plug into that, which plugs into a hub, which plugs into your Switch, that is cumbersome. There's really no defense for that. Um, and we can just look at other Nintendo consoles for, uh, you know, for reference. Uh, the Nintendo DS in 2006 had voice chat. You just plugged in the headset right into the, the, the Nintendo DS and you could voice chat and whatnot on games. Like, uh, I believe Pokemon had it. I'm not sure about Pokemon, but I think they had it. But I know Metroid Prime Hunters had it and uh, other titles, not that many. Uh, it was kind of rare on the DS, but the DS is a very old system. It, this is 2006 we're talking about. And you can move on to the Nintendo 3DS, which also has voice chat currently. Um, one of my favorite games uh, on the system was Heroes of Ruin. And uh, um, I would team up with people. This is back in 2013. Uh, you know, it's kind of a dungeon crawler like type game. And I would team up and talk to people and we'd go out and have fun and, uh, you know, slay monsters and that that's this is a handheld device that n not is not nearly as powerful and i can obviously point to the vita and things of that nature but uh there's i just don't understand like i have no problem with the app feature the chat i talked about that in the video it just doesn't make any sense for uh that to be the only option have this partnership with ori which they do and they have a licensing deal with them for the headset Relate to the fans what your plans are at that point. The messaging for the Nintendo Switch has been pretty brilliant uh, thus far, and so why screw it up now? For the couple of people that were in my comment section talking about this is to protect kids and stuff and all that nonsense, uh, like I said, the Nintendo DS had voice chat. They weren't trying to protect kids with that. The 3DS has voice chat. There was no protection there. The Wii U 
has voice chat, no protection there. Not only does it have voice chat, it also has it also has uh, a camera chat room where you can see people and do God knows what on the Wii U. There's no protection there, so just stop with that excuse. It's embarrassing. You're just proving that you don't know what you're talking about, and you're just making excuses. Why? I don't understand why you make it. It's just, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> like, there's no need to make those kind of excuses. But anyway, that's it for Nintendo News today. Big T, and I'm out.